What's up guys, back with another video. The video that you've all been asking for, um, and that's regarding car finance. Should you consider car finance, or is it a bad idea? Now, this all depends on your financial situation, your monthly income, and can you really afford it? So let's get down to the actual, the actual nitty gritty here. When, when you're considering car finance, you have to say to yourself, do I have enough money? Is the job I'm in, is it secure? And what, can I afford the monthly payments? The first things I looked at was how much I earn a month, how much will the car finance be a month? And normally when you look for car finance, you get all that information, um, whatever website you're using. And it can be Arnold Clark, pretty much Peter Vardy, any website, you know. The reason I went car finance is it suited my situation, my financial situation. And most second-hand cars you buy nowadays, you know, they, they break down, they have problems. It's just not, it's just not worth it in the long run. Whereas car finance for me seems to be perfect. Because not only that, I think it's depending on PHP or HP, whatever one you decide to go for. I think, you know, one of them, you, you pay the finance for three years and you hand the car back and you get a new one. I think it's PH. And correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but I think PH is you own the car after you have paid off the entire finance loan, um, including the APR and the interest etc etc um yeah so it all depends on your situation can you afford car finance what kind of car are you wanting to drive i find that the the lower engine size seems to be within my budget you know the higher the engine size the more you're expected to pay for a finance car um and also it'll be fuel as well so as an economical uh, fuel consumption mileage of your daily driver so there is a lot of factors that you've got to take in before you actually go to a dealership and consider getting a car on finance i took a lot into consideration um i've now had two finance cars one was uh, a total uh someone crashed into me and that was just a nightmare the financial side of it and the insurance side of it was a nightmare of actually, I think I'm going to make another video on that. And I think that will be coming up soon. Um, I, come on guys, it's a lovely, it's a lovely day here. Eh? The sun is absolutely shining and, um, you know, I just thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to make this video for you guys. And yeah, let's get back to that. The, the financial side of things, once do you get the ball rolling, things should run smoothly. You go to the dealership if you have considered going car finance and they help you lay out your options of affordability, uh, monthly payments, interest, etc. You know, things that will come with a car, warranty, gap insurance. And gap insurance, I just recently found out, is very important, especially if you've had an on fault car accident. Uh, it just helps pay you quicker and stuff like that and yeah so if you're going to go car finance you got to take in to consideration all the factors the most important ones um, and it all comes down to money we all know that it all comes down to money uh, some car finance companies might request deposit i had to put down a three thousand pound deposit on this car uh, and then when i seen the car there was a few other issues that they never told me about, like a scrape on the back bumper, um, a few other bits and bobs, but that, that seems to be, that seems to be the little things that don't really bother me. It was the car I wanted, I fell in love with it the minute I seen it, and it was the car I set my heart, heart on. So, you know, for me and my family, it suits us, it suits our lifestyle, and I'm a, I'm a Ford guy. You know, I like my Ford cars, especially my Fiestas, um, okay, it's not the newest Ford Fiesta, but it's a 15 plate and it gets me from A to B 
um, and it makes me feel comfortable when I'm driving it and I think that's the most important thing is safety and comfort for you and your family um, or just yourself if it's you that's just going car finance but yeah it's really important that you look at the paperwork carefully when you're going car finance as well honestly go like make sure you've covered all avenues when you're about to take a car on finance and that includes APR interest how much the entire loan is the monthly payments the size of the the engine the size of the car even if, if that's the sort of thing that you're you're looking for a, a small hatchback an estate an SUV MPG you know these sort of things just be very careful when it comes to car finance. Really think about it. Consider all options. Can you afford that? Is it really what you want? It's a commitment. You know, it could be a five to ten year commitment to pay off the entire car. And at the end of the loan, of the, after paying off the entire finance, is it worth it? Will the car still be, you know, okay in mileage? You might get bored a couple of years down the line. I found in the last car that I had on finance, I started getting bored two years after having it. I wanted another car. Um, I didn't really have an option, but, you know, I could have traded it in for another car, but, you know, I had like three, four thousand to pay on it. So, you know, and then I had that car crash, which was heartbreaking, totally you know, airbags deployed, the car was a write-off and it was a really upsetting time. Um, but anyways, I got back on my feet and I spoke to uh, this guy from a Ford dealership. I let him know the story and the situation and I was terrified to go finance again and stuff like that and the guy was really understanding didn't really pressure me on anything kept me on the right path, gave me the right information and it was all on my own time. So some of these dealerships can really pressurize you into buying a car on finance because they're really good at it. That's their job to sell a car. So if you're going to go finance, please take it all into consideration what I've talked about in this video today. And I'm around £162 a month for this car and insurance is around £120 a month um, as I had an accident, a non-fault accident last year and it's still an ongoing case um, and this model of the Fiesta is the one litre EcoBoost and it's a 15 plate and I think it's a 3 cylinder and it's dark nitrous blue and it's the, I would say the comfy package where you've got the armrest, cruise control you've got the Sony um, head unit hi-fi um, I, I love this car, absolutely love it and it's the best thing I could have done was went finance again but it's re it could be really scary so if you're going to go finance take that into consideration um, so yeah take that into consideration and I'll see you on the, the next one guys and hopefully this has helped you give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and comment down below guys what your thoughts are. And I'll see you on the next one guys. Take it easy till next time.